Alrighty, so we are here at the 2024 BT Awards, and we are with the biggest Skylar Black in the building. You know the vibes. That's awesome. So first, um, I want to talk to you about your recent drop and your collaboration with Chris Brown. How did that come to be? Uh, that was amazing, man. Um, I got this record called F Fame. It was going viral. He had posted it on D, uh, in the, um, on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I had DM'd him. I'm like, yo, I appreciate that. Thank you. You know, stuff like that. He uh, had a tour coming up mm -hmm. the next month, I would say. Him and Lil Baby had a tour coming up in my city. So I went to the tour. I um, DM'd him at the show. Like, while he performing, I DM'd him. I'm like, yo, I want to come back there. Like, get some pictures. He like, I got you. I'm finna send somebody to come mm -hmm. get you. So... Uh, Booba came and got me. We, I went backstage, kicked it with them. I, I rode on a tour bus with them to the after party. Mm -hmm. So once we got to the after party, that's when we like connected. And it was just like, you know, uh, he was like, I, pre I love what you're doing. Keep going. Like the industry different now. Just continue to keep going and stuff like that. And he like, yeah, and what's your number? We going to work. Like, so mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, bet. Like, <laughs> of course. Like, so um, I sent him my number. I mean, I said like three weeks later, I did the wake up record. Mm -hmm. I sent it to him. I told my engineer, like, yo, I'm sending this to Chris. Like, sent it to him. He hit me right back. He like, yo, want to wake up? It's fire. Like, you know, like, he like, it's fire. Uh, he called me later on that night. He like, don't put the record out. Because they were mm -hmm. still on tour. He like, do not put the record out. So I'm like, okay, bet. I ain't going to put it out. <laughs> right. Like, So I say, like, a couple weeks later, he, he hit me like, uh, hey, I ain't forgot about you. I promise I got you. A couple weeks later, he, um... He called me. He like, yo, can you talk? I'm like, of course I can talk. It's Chris Brown. <laughs> so I, uh, he FaceTimed me. He was in the studio playing a record. He was, he was like, yo, what you think about this? Let me know what you think about this. So I'm listening to it. I'm going crazy. Like, I'm excited. Like, so uh, after he played the record for me, I told him, like, yo, I want to shoot a video to it. Like, is that cool? Mm -hmm. He like, yeah, let me know whatever you need. Like, so literally like a couple weeks later i shot the video with him at his house like at his crib we shot the video we just we created history it's been up ever since like that's what's up congratulations yeah. i love that Thank story you. like I appreciate you never that. know what happened like dm people just reach out to people DM, like right? that's what's up um so you did mention that you first or not first dm him but you dm'd him when he was in your city on tour um what is your city can you tell us a little bit about where you're from and how that kind of shaped your artistry uh, from Cincinnati, Ohio. Ooh, ooh. I yeah. Knew, look, side note, I knew that because I'm from Columbus, but you know, yeah. I just yeah, from let Cincinnati, her, Ohio. Her so on. see, you from up the street, <laughs> so you kind of know. It's just like it's a balance in it. It's a good. It's a bad. It's like either you playing sports, mm -hmm. going to school, or you're in the streets and you hustling. Like it's you know you get a you get a, it's a variety of both worlds. I feel like that people need and deserve in their life because. You, in order to learn your lesson and learn from lessons, you have to go through stuff. So I feel like Cincinnati, Ohio was the perfect city for me to be born in. You know, I learned a lot. I experienced a lot. It was I witnessed a lot, you know, good and bad. You know, and I feel like as a human being, you need to witness a lot of things mm -hmm. so you can know what decisions you want to make and what choices you want to make in your life. Mm -hmm. And being from Cincinnati, there aren't that many, like, people you can name right now or really throughout history that you be like, oh yeah, that's a Cincinnati music, or this person is from Cincinnati. Uh -huh. um, do you, has that, or do you think that kind of limits you anywhere, or do you use that as fuel, like, I'm going to be, I'm putting Cincinnati I'm going to be the, the one. Map. Yeah, I'm going to be the one. I would love to be the one. Like, I, I feel like I'm the perfect candidate to, to I'm from downtown West End, so it's like, hey. I, it's, 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 it's different down there, you know, mm -hmm. I feel like that's, I know. The, she said, I know. <laughs> yeah, like, I feel like I'm the perfect candidate, the I'm to be the face of the city, you know, like that's I love that because a lot of people like I don't really know too many people coming out of there. Mm -hmm. And yes, now that you know me, now that you have me, you're going to see a whole lot of more about Cincinnati, you know. 